babe. <sighs> babe, you're not going to work today? No. Why? But you're supposed to resume today, right? I resigned. You did what? Yes, I resigned. I can't work in that firm anymore. I can't keep taking anything from that man. Not anymore. Babe, how are we going to survive now? I'll get another job. Another job? Another job, babe? How? When? Where? Who do you even know that can get you a job of that status? I don't need to know anyone, okay? I'll figure it out. I've already submitted a couple of applications. But that's a mail stating that you're overly qualified for the job. Well, that's the response I've gotten so far, but I am positive that I'll get a better response. Babe, get up, get up, go to work. Please go, babe. <sighs> I've already submitted my resignation letter to the MD. Babe, are you, you did that without letting me know? Because it's my decision alone to make. Is that what you're telling me? Babe, you're taking us back to where we left, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Listen. I'd rather stay on the ground honorably than to stay up there and take shit all in the name of wealth. So which companies did you apply to now? Martin's Auto, Muse Entertainment and a couple of others. So you, you'll be at home with me now? We'll stay home together. We're staying home together, babe. You're jobless. Till I get a job. How do you just make decisions without letting me know? I don't like it. Just like you made a decision without letting me know. I don't like it. God. What kind of life is this? Why would Adrian choose to drag us back to where we left? See how dry everywhere is. This doesn't even look like my kitchen anymore. How do I cope with this kind of life? I've not even sent my daddy's upkeep money for this month. What do I do now? Ah, daddy must not find out that my husband is no longer working. Or has no money. Hello, Daddy. I'm fine. How are you? It's fine. And how are you doing? Okay, Daddy, I would call my husband so he can send you or keep money, okay? You're welcome, Daddy. Take care. I think we should go on a getaway. Okay. To where? Paris. Paris, the city of love. Paris? Yes, sir. <laughs> it's going to be too expensive and I, I don't think we're ready for that. No, babe, don't worry. I'll handle the bills, okay? He will handle it or he will. You don't want to stop, right? Stop what? He made the offer because he wants to make you happy. No. Don't lie to me. Don't you dare lie to me. You know what? It's fine. It's okay, you have my permission to get away. You can get away with him. Is that it? You're going to now use my past against me, is that it? 
I'm sorry if I accused you wrong. But I'm not interested in any trip. Mimi, please. Look, I already made reservations, please. And I booked ticket this evening. Really? Yes. Okay. Show me the receipts of all the payments and reservations you made. I, uh, I don't have it. I don't have it now. You think I'm a fool, right? No, babe. No, I don't think so. Babe. Now that we can't go on the getaway. After you wasted so much money, you have to find a way to tell him, honestly. You have to. So you can cancel it or even better, give it to somebody that wants to make use of it. No, babe. He's going to be angry at me. I'll just look for a way to convince Adrian, that's all. Okay. Convince him if you can, but if it were you, I would just let it go. Babe, trust me. Adrian might not forgive you this time around. Well, how did he find out? How? He's a sharp guy now. Have you forgotten your husband is? And he knows that man and woman matter know the end just like that. Ah. So he must have suspected when he said something. Wait, look, I feel bad. I feel bad. I mean, he was already beginning to trust me. He was already beginning to trust you. You say, why can't you just stop seeing that man? Eh? I've been in bed, man, six with you, rich, so you know if you live out. Before you contradict yourself, nobody you just talks in man or mama, I know they aim like that. I uh, didn't know I was stating the facts, man. I was just talking. Look, babes, Sinito has a way of making me feel safe. I mean, he, he provides for everything I need. He just has that way of providing. Hey, <laughs> God, I know. I don't know, I'm so tired, matter we don't just now. I mean, you want him to forget that you both are married. Especially you, a married woman in love with another woman's husband. Hmm. Don't forget that your, your partners are human beings. Oh. Now outside with you, no, shout it. I will shout, shout it. it. I will. Shout Whose phone did you call? Both of them. And why are you doing this? Because I want her to stop. I've spoken to her about it, but she wouldn't listen. I was made to understand that you talked her into this. Was that what she told you? Is it a lie? How can you even believe the words of a cheating wife? And why should I believe you either? Because the very first information I gave you about your supposed trip turned out to be true. So? So Samantha is still seeing that man. Like nothing ever happened. Mom. Hi, Mom. What? Is everything okay? Oh my goodness, I'm... Okay, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming now. What's the matter? My mom, she's not feeling too well. I have to go. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, the hell with my car key. Hello, Senator. Hi, uh, uh, did, you, did you call me? You didn't. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Hello, babes, where are you? Where are you? Somewhere around your neighborhood. Are you home so I can stop by? I'm not home, I'm not home, babe, but the weirdest thing happened to me today. Did you call me? No, I didn't. Why? Ah, <sighs> babes. Now, somebody called me and it was showing Tinesa's number. Only for me to pick the call and I wasn't hearing the person. 
I called Tineto and he said he didn't call me. I don't know what to do. Really? Yes, babe. Look, I don't, I don't, I really don't know what to do. I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening with my phone. Wow. That's really strange. But babe, are you close to the house so I can just hang around and wait for you? I'm not coming home, babe. I need to go and see Tineto. He wants me to see someone. Babe, again. When are you going to stop seeing that man? Please, I've told you now, leave this matter. Leave the matter alone. Please. Hmm. Okay, well, just know that I'm worried about you. Make okay, Adrian go catch you again. It's okay. Me and my husband were cool. Leave that matter alone. Adrian and I are cool and we'll always be good. If you say so. See ya. Okay, leave that me. My evidence is right, so use your tongue and count your teeth. Please, can I have my glasses? Oh, okay. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Adrian hasn't called me as usual to know where I am. I left home since afternoon. It's almost dark, yet no call from him. Is he falling out of love with me? Adrian, my love, would have called me a million times to know where I am. And why I'm not home yet? Um, so sweetheart. Babe. You don't have to go. The night is still young. I have to go. Look, I'm worried about my husband. You see, baby, mm. since he got to know about us, you have changed. I no longer enjoy you. Alone. Don't say that. But don't it's the truth, darling. Don't say that. I don't want you to say that. But it's the truth. He's my husband and he deserves all the respect. I know. I know he deserves all the respect. But don't hurt me. I won't hurt you. I'll try not to, okay? I'll try not to hurt oh, you. Oh, baby, you know, I miss you so much. I know. I know. Sorry. Is my hair still scattered? No, baby, no. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool, it's cool. I mean, you always need my queen, my <laughs> goddess. Stop seeing him, can you? Don't play dumb with me. I know you were with him. I know you spent the whole day with him at Brisland Hotel. Deny it. Deny it, Samantha. You what? You know, you're such a disgusting pig. Yes, you are. You're so disgusting, you're irritating, and I regret doing this with you. Baby! Don't baby me! How could you go back to him after everything we talked about? How? Am I not enough for you? Huh? Can't I take care of you? I'm doing fine. I can take care of us. So why are you still going back to him? Why? I don't care! Don't use your voice. Do you want her to hear us? You know just... what? what? If you want to keep sleeping with him for money, fine. It's your legs, Abby. Open it! Open it as wide as you want! Do different styles! Whatever pleases you, do it! Do 
changes your voice. You want to sleep with him for money? Sleep! Do all the styles you want. Keep your shouting. Hello, sir. I'm trying to raise the money. Please get out of my sight. Get out of my sight, please. Yes. The doctor just... called that my results are ready. Oh. Okay, let me just quickly change. I'll join you guys. No, okay. there's no need for that. But, but I want to come along. And I said no. Adrian, let her come if she wants to. Why are you stopping her? Because I don't want her to. You have an appointment today with the senator, remember? I don't want to be the reason why you miss your appointment. I can take care of my own mother. I guess oh, the meeting is more important to me. Oh, Samantha. It's okay. Don't worry about me. Hmm? I'll be fine with Tidre. Sure. Yes. I do care. I'm going home. Why? I miss my house. Mom, this house is your house too. Mm -mm. And besides, Mom, you're not feeling fine and you don't need to be alone. You and Adrian are not helping my health. I know. I know. Okay, see, we're having some misunderstandings. But he's my husband. We'll sort it out. Don't worry. You always do. I've been here for a whole week. But my presence is not, you know, bringing about any difference. I know. Mom, at least just wait. Let him come first before you go. I've already called him. He's coming to, he's coming to pick me. Mm. Um, and mommy, I, I, can, I can go talk to you. Call him, tell him I'm waiting for him. Yes? He's not picking. Whichever. Okay, let me just let me just quickly for a second here. I'll come before you go. Okay, I'm coming now. I'm coming. I'm moving here. to reduce how frequently we see. Why? Because of my husband. He's beginning to suspect me. He even knows where we meet. Oh, don't worry, I can handle him. <laughs> no, it's threatening my marriage. 
What if he colludes with your counterpart? What if he sells you out? Senator, you know it won't take him much to bring you down politically. Or do you want to risk everything you've labelled for just because of a woman? You can't do it. Hmm. Do not underestimate him or... Well, he might not be able to do much. But what do you think will happen if he gets in contact with one of your political enemies? Kate, why are you telling me all this? I'm telling you this because I care about you. And also because I want you to stop saying Samantha. Just take me in her place. Kate, Samantha is your friend. Isn't it a disservice to her? Senator, just pay her off. She's in this just because of the money, trust me. Just pay her well and she wouldn't need you anymore. Kate, Samantha and I have a lot in common. Well, that may be true, but trust me, money is the center of attraction. If you just pay her, she would she would just disappear like you never existed. Please, don't let our husband ruin you just because of this. What is it? I was just thinking about what you said. Why? Someone told me that before. I'm not saying Adrian is dangerous. He's not capable of doing anything evil. But he can be used too. I don't know about that either. <sighs> Samantha. Yes. Samantha, I'm willing to give you up. How would you say something like that? Huh? What do you really want? I... I want you. Samantha, Samantha, Samantha. What mm. do you want? What do you want? Okay, I... I want something. Mm -hmm. What is it? I want money. Remember I told you that I'm trying to finish the building for my father. Mm. I need like 10 million. I'll give it to you. Are you serious? Thank you, come here, oh my god, thank you! You! I'll give you the problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey? Where are you coming from? Moms? Moms? Yes. Which moms? Your mom. Yes, yes, your mom, babe. You're coming from my mom's place? Yes. At this time? There was, there was traffic on the road. It was, it was really bad. Traffic? Yes. Where did you experience the traffic? The, 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 the De Declan Drive. Declan Drive? You experienced traffic at Declan Drive? Yes. Right? Yes. I didn't know Declan Drive now has traffic. FYI. I'm just coming from my mom's place. Yes, I knew you had plans. And I decided to follow you. My mom told me you dropped her off and left a few minutes later. No, babe, I actually dropped her off. Then I, 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 I... Do not lie to me! Where are you coming from? There's, there's traffic. And I, I, I waited better, a little. Don't lie to me. Because yeah. I know, I know that you went to see him. So tell me, where are you coming from? So, Samantha, where are you coming from? I'm sorry. Where are you coming from? Where? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not 
going to ask you again. Where? Kate. Kate, I want to see you. Come in your sexiest best. You will be here overnight. Yeah, Katie dear. What do you want me to get for you? Okay, you have it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Do you know what I'm wearing? I want to divorce my wife. Excuse me. She's cheating on me. What are you talking about? I have done all I can to make her stop, but she's adamant. Wait. You mean this has been going on for a while? So, um, how did you find out? It's a long story. Come on, man. I have all the time. And you need to talk to me so that I can be sure the best advice to give you. My mind is made up. On what exactly? Divorcing her. <sighs> Adrian, are you sure this is not just an accusation? She could sue you if she found, if she finds out. Okay, so tell me, what evidence do you have? I'm not sure what it is, but I'm suspecting her. I said it. I knew you're not sure. How can you just wake up and, and, and say your, your wife is cheating on you? She's been acting weird. How? I, I, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Idran, do you want me to tell you the truth? What? I think you found another woman abroad. And you're making up these excuses just so you can elope with her. Yeah, which kind of talk be that? I don't understand. It didn't be you. Okay, tell me. Why would you just wake up one morning and just claim that your wife is cheating on you? To the extent that you're, you're even threatening to divorce her? You know what? Just forget that you and I had this conversation. <laughs> mm, see? Yeah, you know, you know well, though. They need to check your brain. I'm not, I'm not, sure, you're, I'm not sure you're okay. Hey, guy. We were going home. Uh, is this in it all? Samantha, please now. Let's see, let's go together. You can wait at the bar. That way now, Adrian's spy, even if he sees us, he won't hold anything against me. Now let's go. Go where? I beg, I beg, I beg. I know they do that kind of escort. Oh, no. Don't listen. I've warned you to stop seeing this man. Oh, your grade will not let you listen. You're on your own now. Please, I'm going to my house. Oh, yeah, babe. Come here. Please now. Samantha, what is wrong with you? So you want trek? I will trek. At this point, I will trek. Go.
Hi. Hello. Uh, your friend is not home. I know. It's you I came to see. Okay. What's going on? I'm just curious. What do you do with your foreign wife? What kind of question is that? A woman that leaves her husband to be with another man just because of money. And the husband is still keeping her. Is it love or what? Kate, please leave. I know you're broken. Samantha has hurt you so much. And you need someone to heal and suit your heart with love and care. And that person is you? Yes. Let me feel your heart, Kitty Pai. Samantha doesn't deserve a sweet and loving guy like you. Are you any better? Please, get out of my house. <laughs> Did you say your house? Yes, my house. Really? Hi, girlfriend. Are you here? Yeah, I thought you were around, so I just stopped by. You knew I was not going to be around, so it's Come on now. You said you weren't going to be away for long. So when I decided not to go home, I just tried to come around and wait for you. I know, but even at that, you should have just called me first. I'm sorry. My phone went off. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. And I even just got here now. Welcome, okay? You call me, just uh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. How far? You didn't go again. Jesus. I couldn't go through with it. I was just feeling guilty, like I was doing something very bad. I felt too guilty. I couldn't. Mm. Just had to come back home. Please. What's how? Excuse me. Okay. I'm sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm good. It smells not okay because the way it smells okay. It's okay. Come rest. Let me just be on my way. Thank you. Thank you, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye, babes. Pregnant. I'm pregnant. No. I can't tell kids about this. I already suspect her because I tell her everything. 
And yet, Adrian knows about everything. I can't tell her. God, I'm pregnant. No, 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 no. I can't be pregnant. No. No. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Who is that? Oh. <clears throat> Samantha. Uh, hold on a minute. Um, why don't you go into the kitchen? Um, oh, well, just go upstairs. Go and stay in the room. Hmm. Make it fast. Uh, <clears throat> Um, Samantha there, come on in now. Mm. Yeah. Come in. Oh, darling. Why is your face like this? What's going on? What's the matter? I'm in trouble. What's the matter? I'm in trouble. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm You're pregnant? Trouble. Yes. Oh, but I thought you would marry your husband. It's not for him. It's not for him. Really? Yes. So what's the matter with pregnancy? My husband has not touched me for two months. What am I going to do? I'm finished. What am I going to do? That's not the big issue. I'll just call one of my doctors. He'll sort you out. Are you sure? No, I'm sure, sure, sure. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, start going out, call him. He'll come and meet you. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. No, no, I'm afraid. Just, just let's go. That's not a big issue. You should be a big girl. Ah, oh, you're pregnant. You should be a big girl. Ah. Hi. Hi. I am here to congratulate you. Congratulate me on what? A change of status to that of a father. Excuse me? Oh, I see she didn't tell you. Tell me what? Your wife is pregnant. <laughs> what? I'm so sorry to hurt you. I forgot she mentioned that the pregnancy isn't yours. She told you this? She told her lover. Wait, wait. You mean Samantha is pregnant for Senator? Yes, she is. And as we speak, they're on their way to see a specialist. Specialist for what? To get it aborted, I presume. Did you abort the baby? I, 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 I don't know. Oh, Sammy! Did you abort the baby? Shout 
something. I, I don't know what Did you abort the baby or not? Huh? Let me think of a solution, no? so I can solve the problem for you. I don't know how you find out all this. At first I thought it was his instinct, and then I suspected my friend, but I didn't tell her about this, I didn't tell her about the baby. Eh, but my darling, <laughs> someone must have told him. Do you think he's training me by himself? Okay, calm down, let me find a solution to it, okay? All right? Hmm? Come, come down, my love. Come down. Come down, my angel. Come down, my goddess. Come down, eh? Come down. Come down. I'll solve it. I'll solve it. Hmm? Come down. How could you? How could you? How could I what? Tell your friend's husband about the pregnancy. Senator, what pregnancy? Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. You were here the other day. Okay, so what if I had everything? Why would I go and tell her husband? That's what I'm wondering. Know. Senator, I have no idea of what you're talking about. You know, kid, I was beginning to think we could have something together. But I'm changing my mind. I can't trust you anymore. Senator, come on. Why are you accusing me of something I know nothing about? Kate, get out of my house. Come on, Senator. I want you. Step. You're finished. Get out of my house, Kate. Get out now. Now! I need a coffee, babe. Big wait, wait, let me explain. I can explain, okay? I you don't owe me any explanation. Save it for the meeting with our lawyers. Lawyers? Adrian! I filed for a divorce. And my lawyer is coming with the paper by noon. No, baby, please. Baby, please. You can't do this, Doris. Please. Us? Thank you, yes. Samantha, this is where it ends. I'm divorcing you. No, baby. There was never us. It's always been about you and Senator. 
So please, go ahead and enjoy with Senator. As for me, I'm out. No, baby, I can't explain. Please just listen to me. Listen to me. Let's talk. Baby, wait, wait. Baby, please, let's talk. Please, I beg you. Just listen to me. Baby, please. Baby, please, I beg you. Baby, please listen to me. Baby, wait. Baby. Baby, wait. Baby, wait. Baby, wait. I can't explain. Baby, hold on. I can't explain, please. Babes, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Oh, do you think I should tell his mom to tell him? Tell her what? Oh, mom, I cheated on your son and got pregnant. And now I want an abortion. I didn't get an abortion. You didn't? Yes. After we did the scan and everything, I found out that the pregnancy was his. Who's? My husband's, Adrian. Are you sure? Or you just realized your foolishness and now you want to pin the pregnancy on him so he doesn't divorce you? No. I'm very sure, babes. Look, I only miscalculated because I felt like the pregnancy was recent. But then I found out that I'm three months pregnant. That means it was like three months ago. And then, Senator and I were not even having sex. Just hangouts. Are you sure? Yes, babes. Yes. And I remember that sex very well. That was the makeup sex I and my husband had. I told you about it, right? Well, if you say so, there is a saying that it is only a woman that knows who the true father of her child is. So I believe your claims. Why are you sounding like this? Huh? How am I sounding? You're supposed to be consoling me here. Console you? Did you fall from a tree? And did you even tell me about this pregnancy before jumping to the hospital with Senator? I'm sorry, I was so confused. You know, I shouldn't even be talking to you right now. I'm sorry now. Look, if you had told me about this, I will give you better advice now. Who not have been here talking about your husband divorcing you or not? Okay, I'm sorry. So what would I do? I think you should just calm down for now. Because I feel if you tell him that he's responsible for the pregnancy, you just feel you're playing games with him. That's true. That's why I've been so skeptical about telling him. Just calm down. What you need to do now is to think about how to talk him out of this divorce of a thing. Okay. My son, people don't just go divorced like that. You must tell us why you decided to end your marriage with my daughter. Huh? With all due respect, sir, ask your daughter. Adrian! What has come over you? <coughs> I, I hope you have not gotten a woman in that your abroad trip that is shocking you. Mom, Because yes. that is how you people behave. There is nothing like that. Then? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Sorry. <coughs> Let me get you water. Okay? Take it off. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go and get that water. I'm coming. Sorry. Then, then what, why would you wake up suddenly? I want to divorce your wife. This same Samantha, who has been there for you. This same Samantha that made you who you are today. <coughs> Thank you. Do you think you would have gone this far without Samantha? Adrian, you are not going to divorce this girl until you tell us what she has done. Why you want to divorce her? Oga lawyer. Yes, ma'am. Nobody is signing anything. Yes. Just go your way. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> Thank you, my dear. <coughs> oh, Chimo. Chimo. Well, ma'am, 
I would like to hear from my client here. Because he actually came to the office to file a case for divorce on the ground of infidelity from the wife's part. So I would like to hear from him. In infidelity? Eh? Samantha. Would you like to speak up or you want me to tell them everything? Hmm. <laughs> what? Is already dead. She's not dead. But her condition is very, very critical. What exactly is wrong with her? Well, they conducted the test and they saw some cancerous cells in her lower rib. And if she doesn't get her surgery done, she will die. Oh my god. The worst part is that we can't even do this test here in Nigeria. We have to do it abroad. For me, that will cost like millions of naira. 50 million naira, babe. Hey, Where are you guys supposed to get that kind of money? I don't know. I don't know. And the drugs are only going to sustain her. Just suspend the pain for a while. But if we don't take her for the surgery, she will die. Oh, what, kind of, what kind of problem is this one, eh? <laughs> eh? Babe, just calm down, eh? Calm down. Where's your husband? He's with her at the hospital. Calm down, okay? Don't cry. God will provide. Hmm? He should provide, please. He will. He should provide. Sorry. I love her. She'll be fine, okay? Nothing will happen to her. Hmm? Stop crying, okay? Sorry, she'll be fine. Crying won't solve anything, okay? I want her to be fine. She will. She will I be love fine. her. She's the only mother that I have.
All you have is this certificate, Adrian. That's all you have. That's all you have. Yes, 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 sir. I'm the owner of the car. It's it's fine. We we could you could come for an inspection. I'll meet I'll meet up with you. Ten a.m. is fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Babe, mom is going to be fine. I put up the house and the car for sale and I already found someone to buy the car. I'm so happy, babe. Look, I'm so happy. I don't need anything from you. Adrian. I'll take care of my problem by myself. No, it's not just your problem. Just in case you don't know, that woman is a mom to me too. And I'll do everything possible to make sure that she gets back on her feet. Do you get me? Excuse me. Adrian, your problem is my problem. And the earlier you understand that, the better for us. I'm talking to you. I I came to apologize. For what? For the last time, I shouldn't have talked noise in your business. Oh, okay. Apology accepted. But see, Kate, we won't do this again. Are you sure? Mm. I know it's been a long time you had a good time. Mm. Let me take you there. No. Kate, 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 no. Even if I sell this house and everything we have, it's still not going to be enough for the medical and travel expenses. What I do, God help me, please. God help me, please. Pick up, pick up. What should I do? Should I call Senator? Adrian, Adrian won't let me. Hello, girlfriend. 
What's up? <sighs> Babes, I'm not fine. Look, even if we sell everything, the house and everything, it still wouldn't be enough. Chai, this is so sad though. But like I promised, I'll send you 200k first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. But babe, doesn't Adrian have any family members that could help? Aunties, cousins, or even uncles? Look, his mom is the richest of all the siblings. You know that. Oh, wow. Babe, do you think I should call Sinito? Hmm? Aren't you guys over yet? We are, but I know that he's going to be willing to help. But I'm scared of Adrian's reaction. Babe, this is a matter of life and death, so... Well, just, just try and see what you can do. Are you, are you saying that I should call him? I don't know. But you said think I'm... Do you think he has that much to spare? I don't know. I don't know. I'll just call him then. Okay, now just try your luck. You know, say the man know they carry your master play. Okay. 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 Babe, just chill, okay? Everything will be just fine. Okay? Okay, now. Good night. Bye. Okay. I yes. Think yes. Yes, ma. That's what I told your husband. Okay. So, how much do you say is the car again? Okay, ma. I actually bought this car for eight million, but because of everything I'm going through, I'll sell it for you for six million, ma. Sorry? Ma, I, I said six million, ma. Ah, six million. Yes, ma. For Tokumbo. Niger used car. No, no ma. now. Ah, ah, you should take it down, please. No, ma. The car is actually very good. The engine, everything is perfect. Please help me, please. I know, but did you see the body? I'll actually do a body work on this car. No, you see you... the scratches everywhere. You just have to spray it, ma. The engine is fine. Please help me. I beg you. I okay, beg you know you. what? Because yes, of your predicament, yeah? I'll just give you for 2.5. Yeah, that would be nice. Ma, 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 I cannot. I can never sell this car for 2.5. Ma, fear God now. Please just help me. Five million is what I can do last. Five million Naila? Yes, ma. Five million and that's it. Not even 4.5? No, ma. That's, ma, I already told your husband all this. Please. Okay, you know what? Let's not stretch it. That'll be fine. Thank you, ma. Okay, so... Thank you. God bless you. Let's go in for payment and hope the papers are in. <laughs> You're ready. You're ready, ma. All right, let's Thank go. you. Okay, ma. Take it easy, ma. I feel your pain and I'm so, so sorry. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I, I'm so helpless. Oh, Hi, Samantha. Hi, Jenny. Welcome. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Come on, that's okay. How are you? Fine. Samantha. I really need you to stay strong for him. I will. Babe, I went to the bank and I checked all my accounts. All I could come up with is 11 million. Let me transfer it to you now. I told you I don't want anything from you. Please. Why? Why is that? If you want your mom dead, then go get a gun and shoot her. If not, then I'm going to the hospital and I'm making this deposit. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? What is the problem? I'm not going to take money from her, especially when I don't know where it's coming from. Come on, man, if you ask me. All of that doesn't matter right now. This is a matter of life and death. My mom is not going to die. Oh, 
Hello? Yeah, doctor. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. So what's up, man? Guy, I need 25 million naira to get my mother out of this country in the next 24 hours. Samantha, where are you? We need to get mom out of this country in the next 24 hours. The doctor called and said that we can fly her out of the country with 25 million and then after the surgery, we can balance the remaining 25. Why are you quiet? Where are you? I know you mentioned 11 million error. Let's just take that to the hospital and see what happens next. Okay, I'll be on my way. It's not what you think. What? <sighs> Kate, you? No, Samantha, no. Samantha? I know she's the only woman that I can come for in this life. God, please help me. God, please save my mother in law. Please. Please.
Hello, Samantha, where are you? Come to the house. Come to the house now. Come, come. I want to see you. Yes, I am okay. All right. Daddy, I'm here. So, Walter, sit down. Daddy. I said you should sit down. Um, okay, um, give me your account details. Daddy, you have it. It's still that same account number. Okay, same number. Yes. One minute, eh? Okay. Okay, check your phone. My phone? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Daddy! You you sent me this kind of money, Daddy. Thank you. Daddy, My love. Thank you so Come much. On. Thank you. God bless you. It's alright, dear. I was keeping this money for my grandson. Oh. I wanted to gift it to him when he's dead. <sighs> but what will I do? But I think my in-law, your mother, needs it more now, okay? Daddy. I never knew you had this kind of money. It took more of the sacrifices, Daddy. My daughter, I'm doing it for you. Okay? Since that woman fell ill, you have not been yourself. I've been so shattered. Okay? So, I know if she does not make it, it's going to affect you. Okay? Yeah. Go and pay the bills. Okay? Go. Daddy. Yes, dear. There's something I need to tell you. What is it? Your grandchild is on the way. Serious? Yes, I'm pregnant and I'm three months gone. God, I thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna be a grandfather. Yes, daddy. Oh ah, God, thank <laughs> you, thank you. Oh, that I'm Thank you. Ah. Thank God I am back home. My daughter, I cannot thank you enough. My God will bless you. Amen. 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 Come. Come. Yes, this is what you're thinking. I'm pregnant. Oh, thank <laughs> God. Thank God, oh. Thank God for keeping me alive to carry my own grandson. Mm -hmm. So, my two hands will do a mugo. Yes. Hey! <laughs> Come and join me, <laughs> singer, hallelujah. Mama. Hey! Mama hey. Means, means. <laughs> Adrian, we need to celebrate this. Get us a drink. Is it a serious? <laughs> so let's, let's leave all this energy for when your grandson arrives. If you say so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ah. Okay. Yes. Why are you looking at me like that? You didn't abort the baby. What? I'm not going to father another man's child. No. The baby is yours. What do you mean? You know I can't prove it to you now. There's nothing I will say that you believe me, but maybe a DNA will do. Yes. It's funny that after everything, I still love you. Sorry. 
I'm sorry for the kind of wife that I turned out to be. But I'm never, ever going back to that life, I promise. The only promises you cannot keep. No, babe. It's a resolution I made when I found out that that the baby is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you did for my mom. I can't, I can't tell you how grateful I am. You're welcome. Stop seeing my mom. She's our mom. Okay, our mom. Yes. This is Mr. Okola. Yes? Are you are you serious? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Bye. Babe, what's, what's going on? Babe, you won't believe this. What? I told you about a couple of companies that I submitted my applications to before I left Canada after my studies. Yes, yes, and? <sighs> One of the companies just offered me a job. They This is this. We need to celebrate. Mm -hmm. we, we definitely need to celebrate. Yes, wines, <laughs> drinks, absolutely, everything. Absolutely. Can I scream? <laughs> 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 